All right. So I had a concussion. Uh, what was the date? August 24th, 2010. I think it was a Tuesday. I'm pretty sure it was a Tuesday. It might not be 2010. That's why I said Tuesday. Just so we know which year it was. It was definitely Tuesday. But I think it was 2010. Anyway, not really important. But I was out for like 10 seconds, maybe. Maybe 30 seconds. I don't know how long. I, it took me a long time, actually, to realize what happened to me that day. Because when I woke up, I had amnesia. Yeah, I couldn't remember my name for a good 15, 20, 30 seconds, maybe even a minute. Yeah, the cop was asking me who I was. I couldn't even tell him. I was like, uh, yeah, it was strange. And it came back to me. Yeah, my own, yeah, all my shit. Yeah, it, it all, I remembered it, but for a second there, I was like, whoa, I don't even know. And I was trying to find out. I was in a pool of blood. My face was all fucking, yeah, scratched open, fucking bloody. Yeah, it, it was bad. And I had been on a bike ride before I wound up there. Yeah, and I woke up and pull blood and couldn't remember even my own name so like i don't remember the, the end of the bike ride until like years go by it's strange but that's true and i finally figured out the end of that bike ride for me before my fucking bike wound up in the road and it's kind of stupid i did this to myself yeah i really did i was dumb yeah it was riding through the rain and i don't even know if it was raining anymore at the point i did this but uh i might have been struck by lightning honestly this is pretty much what i remember though and i doubt i was struck by lightning I fucking, there's like a sign over there on Route 37, leaving Seaside. Yeah, on the, on the, uh, it's just a street sign. I don't know what it says, but it's on the, it's on the fucking sidewalk, like right where I was riding the bike, not in traffic or anything. But I put my head down, yeah. And I put my head up, like I was going to go under the sign, and I fucking whacked my head with the fucking sign on the bike, yeah. And I fucking, yeah, that's what happened to me. It was fucking bad, yeah. It was a bad wreck because it was dumb, yeah. I didn't, I might not even seen the sign there, to tell you the truth. It might, yeah, it was just fucking bad. Bad position for a sign to fucking, yeah, I knocked myself out with because I wasn't looking at it, didn't even see it, yeah. But it was fucking bad. And, uh, yeah, I remember now, yeah. I went down, I was woozy. When I was concussed, though, yeah, I was in a fucking another world. For it seemed like the thirty seconds were at least five minutes in reality. For fucking, I thought it was twelve years when I started this tape, and that's that's really what it seemed like went by. It was very strange. A fucking and oh man, yeah, it, it's just weird to imagine. You know, you're out, you're in time, time trying to peer into right now because yeah, that's how I went down, and that's the first time I got a tape of that explanation. But I'm thinking about it for a while. And I was trying to figure it out with an explanation years ago. I didn't even recognize the fact of what was real. So I'd come up with all these conspiracy theories. Yeah. I got jumped. Yeah. It was this guy, that guy, this guy, that guy. For years, I've been like wondering. Never actually pointed the finger at anybody, but in my mind, I've been like, yeah, I was them from when they talked to me around that time. Yeah. And I feel bad that I had this perception of people because I did do it to myself. Yeah. But, it, but there was other things. I might have got struck by lightning. Yeah. Maybe I fucking rode up on fucking a car like police car trying to get hit yeah trying to collect their money <laughs> all the stories i could have come up with yeah it's just a lot and i believe me i hate the sign yeah i know <laughs> i didn't know believe me i'd be fucking chasing it down if i fucking found out the police hit me and did yeah it didn't turn it in <laughs> but that's not the truth yeah no, it is fucking funny and the cops were there to help me up yeah give me a smelling salt and i knew they did i was out cold <laughs> yeah, they didn't even mention that. The smelling salt. I was like, what? <laughs> so, I don't know what that thing is. That, that thing might have fucking woke me up from fucking never coming up. But, uh, yeah, that, that fucking uh, concussion, uh, who knows how long I was out yeah, before they assaulted me. Yeah, uh, since I went down, yeah, pretty much. It was, it was woozy, and I was like, I'm going down. Yeah, I didn't even fucking recognize. Yeah, yeah I couldn't remember the woozy part, but I can see it now, and it happened. And, uh, yeah, they found me on the road, brought me to the hospital, sewed my face together. My face started hurting. Yeah, yeah, right away. I mean, it doesn't even stop hurting now. It was bad then. Yeah, but fucking now, I still need to smoke weed to fucking not feel pain. Yeah, and I need a doctor to prescribe this shit to me. Yeah, I, if they can't hear this message, yeah, like, how many people have, you know, had a concussion and fucking don't smoke to kill themselves? Yeah, you know what I mean? It, it's just necessary for me. And it, it's silly, yeah. Like, whatever reason you got, I think I had a pretty good reason if the doctor could say, yeah, fucking, he was just give me free weed. And that way I don't have to see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm talking about the concussed world, though. This is a different story. Yeah. In there, I want to tell you what I saw. Yeah, That's what this whole fucking point was. Uh, oh, man, it was dark. Yeah, it was dark. And there was shit going on. Lights. Yeah, like mostly red lights. It was rather strange. I don't think I might have even saw another color, which is rather strange for me. It was just black and red. Yeah. 
and it, nothing appeared in the black, yeah, and the damages might have just been on a red tint. Yeah, it was like a fucking stained glass fucking, yeah, like you were looking through a stained glass mask or something. Yeah, it was very strange, and it, it, it was really, really weird to see that, and they're like, the, the images moved around, yeah, and at the same time, you, you go through phases in there, or at least I did, this is what happened, yeah, nobody even knew, I don't know, I don't know if everybody goes through the same phases, but it was very spooky, I saw a lot of fucking crosses and like religious symbols, yeah, it, it was strange, I was like, what the fuck is that, I don't even, yeah, I don't know why I was there in the cast world, that's what I saw, and uh, that's what I saw, and fucking, pretty much, anybody else, yeah, I heard a voice too, yeah, while I was there, I heard a whole fucking tape of somebody telling me a fucking uh, recording, yeah. It was rather strange. And uh, the recording, it threw my mind off. Yeah, I don't know where, if that, that, it was a perceived recording, yeah. It really did. I fucking thought when I woke up, did one of my stories was I got jumped, thrown in the back of a fucking van. Yeah, this is what I thought. They played this tape to me that I heard while I was out, yeah. And fucking screwed, screwed a fucking screwdriver into my face, yeah, and fucking dumped me off on the road, which was really what I thought had happened, and I know who I thought I did this to me, and fucking, I know that was the voice that I heard on the tape, yeah, which was really strange, and that is strange, I, I never even brought, I brought that up to the guy, I haven't seen him since a long time ago, he used to talk to me funny, yeah, and he, he always seemed like he, he was like aggressively mad toward me, but he was never mean, and I know who he is, yeah, it's just strange, and then that guy just disappeared at the end. Yeah, like the tape was over, right? Yeah, and there was one more scene. And my buddy fucking punched me with brass knuckles in an alley. Yeah, he just dragged me down the alley at the end. Yeah, fucking brass knuckles, fucking right in my face. Knocked the fucking bejesus out of me, I swear. It was the hardest punch there ever was. Yeah, but brass knuckles nonetheless, yeah. And at the end of that, that's what that was, yeah. And I woke up and it felt like that. It was fucking bad, yeah. And it was from me falling off my bike. Yeah, it was fucking strange. I just want to tell everybody, thanks.